Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is insecure Netgear routers. A researcher at Trustwave Spider Lab found vulnerabilities in a number of Netgear routers back in April of this year, but is just publicly disclosing them now. In a nutshell, he found some CGI mechanisms in the web management portal that were used for password resetting. He found that he could actually go to one page to get a token and then send it to another page to actually get the administrative credentials of this particular router. Worse yet, he later found that he didn't even need the token. Any parameter he actually sends to this particular password reset mechanism will spit out the admin password of the router, thus giving him full access to this particular router. And by the way, it didn't only affect his home router, but it affected many Netgear devices and many uh, white labeled Netgear devices as well. Now, what's kind of interesting about this is you're only affected by it if you haven't enabled the password reset mechanism. If you haven't enabled that mechanism, sending any parameter to this particular CGI page gives someone your admin password. If you do enable that mechanism, apparently the Netgear will ask you for security questions, which then prevent you from taking advantage of this flop. In any case, it's a pretty big deal, and his blog post on it's a pretty fun write-up. In fact, apparently he found this because his router at home went down and he is too lazy to go reboot it, so he decided to try to hack it instead. So it's quite a fun read. Another interesting note about his blog post is he told Netgear about this flaw back in April, and it's taken him quite a long time to patch. And apparently in the past, Netgear hasn't had a great reputation for working quickly with security researchers, but in the end of his blog, he talks about some improvements they actually are making as far as their security vulnerability handling. Long story short, if you have a Netgear router, you're going to want to read this post and see if one of your models is vulnerable, and if so, update it. Since this is your router and it's typically in front of a firewall, there's not much you can do about it if you expose the web management portal. However, in most cases, by default, that remote management portal is only available on the local side of your network, not on the internet side. So as long as you don't expose that to the public, you should be safe. By the way, one other aside, apparently today uh, Trump plans on signing some sort of cybersecurity related executive order. Early reports suggest it might be some routine order similar to past administrations as far as doing things like uh, making sure all the government departments uh, audit their security and maybe changing his staff's security policies uh, and procedures. However, we don't have full details and based on some of his past executive orders, it might be interesting to see what he has to say about cybersecurity. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.